Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher, and man, I really appreciate you guys uh, checking today's video out. Today we're going to be talking about how to catch bass in the summertime in very shallow water for the bass that are feeding on perch that spawn. Now, as you guys watch the channel much, you hear me talking about the spawning perch deal in the summer. It's a great way to catch them. And I've got one uh, lure that I really like to fish during the summertime. I'm going to give you guys some tips and advice on how to fish it. So real quick, guys, just a couple quick housekeeping tips on the fishing teacher. I just want to invite anybody out there that's interested in booking an on-the-water lesson with me. Just shoot me a uh, private message on my Facebook page, Randy Blockett, Professional Angler, and I'll give you the details on that. And also, I'd like to invite everybody to check out our Fish the Moment summer lake map breakdowns. If you're struggling to find fish on your favorite lake, this is a great resource to help you guys out. And if, if the lake you fish is not on our website, you can book a virtual lesson with me and we can go over it one-on-one, -on -one, give you guys some good spots. Much appreciated. Okay, guys, the bait I'm going to talk about, I'm going to show you guys the bait, then I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, how to fish it and where to fish it. This is the uh, Mega Bass Diamante Topwater. It's a walking topwater. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with what a walking topwater is, you throw it out there and you just make short twitches with your rod tip like that and the bait will go sideways like that through the water. It's, this thing has been catching bass for 60, 70 years. It's one of the greatest all-time bass catchers of all time, the walking topwater. And this is the mega bass version, uh, the Diamante. If you guys are, I'll put the uh, bait works link in the description if you guys want to get one or two of them. Uh, it's a good place to get them at. But guys, this is my favorite um, uh, lure to use for spawn and perch. Now, color doesn't matter that much. This is the baby bass. This is one of my favorites, but it's not necessarily the cover, the color of the bait as much as just the action and where you fish it at. So let's talk a little bit about the, the whole scenario behind this. Now, one of the things that you'll hear me talk about a lot and on my main channel, the Intuitive Angling channel, is I talk a lot about spawn and perch in the summertime because guys, this is one of the most overlooked ways to catch fish that there are in bass fishing. There's every lake across the country, um, most of the perch spawn all summer long. They, they spawn every 30 days as long as that water temperature is over about 70 degrees. So this keeps a lot of bass shallow. A lot of those guys that are out fishing deep in the summertime of the year, they're missing out on these super shallow bass that stay shallow to feed on these bluegill. So what you want to look for is you got to have flat banks and you need to have some type of shade or a little bit of cover in the water. Most of the time, if you go like in the back two thirds parts of the coves and get on the flatter coves um, in about two to four foot of water, you'll notice some round, they look like honeycombs or little nests about this big around and they, they tend to make them real close to each other. And those perch will spawn on these nests and they like to spawn on places that catch some shade, like underneath overhanging trees and that type of stuff. Didn't have to have shade, but it helps. Or, you know, some like a stump in the water. They like something to relate to. But what you want to do, guys, is just go back in those areas with this Diamante walking top water. Just throw it back in there and just cover water in that shallow water. The way that I usually do it if I'm on this bluegill bite is I'll go back about two thirds of the way back in the cove. I'll work my way all the way to the back and, and back out the first quarter coming out and then move to the next cove. And I just run cove after cove after cove, covered water with the top water. Now, you don't necessarily have to see beds in order to catch the bedding bluegill fish because what happens is a lot of these bass, they're constantly hunting for these bluegills. So they'll be back in the shallow water all summer um, looking for them. They don't know if they're back there or not. So they're cruising in and out of these coves so it's a matter of just running as many of them as you can. It's When you catch one, it's not like you're going to catch like a bunch of fish in one spot. You may catch one in one cove. You may go to two or three coves and not catch one. Then you'll pull into one and you might catch one or two. It's a really good pattern to catch fish all over the lake like that. doesn't really matter about the water clarity quite so much, although I do prefer to have at least two foot of visibility for the topwater lure. Now, if you if your lake you're fishing has got dirty water, say it's only like a foot visibility and you can't see the beds, you're probably better off with something like a swim jig, like a bluegill pattern swim jig, fishing it just under the surface over the top water. But anyway, guys, I'll put that bait works link in the description, get you some of them, um, especially if you got a lake that has anything better than two foot of visibility, it's a great way to catch them and you can catch some really quality fish doing it. So hope it helps out. We'll talk later.